Well, let's get to let's get to the in inevitable Star Wars match here. This one, the two rookies, uh, the two undefeated rookies um, facing off for that championship. Uh, Thomas Harper, the major, will be defending up against um, the most recent addition to the Schmodown, uh, Nikki Dimi Dimalanta, who joined. Uh, you know, as far as playing halfway through the season, she was drafted, but she uh, she only started playing halfway through the season. Um, a lot of people going for Demi in this one. A lot of people, but we talked about it with Parker. This is just a cool story in general because Harper is putting, you know, uh, the whole Dragon Con thing on his back, and and that whole conversation that happened in the off season of these Star Wars Dragon Con players can they can they come into this league and really do what they need to do? And then Demi is coming from oh, I was helping my husband win belts. Now it's my turn. And I'm gonna destroy everybody in my path. Like it's it's smiling crazy. the entire way. Yeah, just like having an absolute <laughs> blast the entire way. Uh Jill, I'm gonna go back to you. Go back to you. This I'm I agree with a lot of people in the chat that this is this is gonna be a coin toss. I could see this as being another 150, 150. Like I can totally see that happening with these two. And while I do enjoy seeing the adventures of the Star Wars belt that Thomas Harper has taken this belt on, he's taken this belt kayaking. He's taken this belt to like the Smithsonian. It's been a really cool thing to see like the belt like go to all these places. But y'all, we five need out of five a confidence level, bro. Come on, that five out of five. Come uh, on. We we need we need our first female Star Wars champion, and I would love it to be Nikki Dimolanta. So I'm I Thomas Harper. I love you, and I think you've been a really great champion. And I I hope if you do keep that belt, that you continue to show us uh, some really cool things with it. Maybe put some cool googly eyes on there because that'd be really fun. Um, but I need me a female Star Wars champion, and I think Demi can do just that. So this is an interesting comment. That's a very I don't I don't necessarily know if I agree. With I you. don't. She's a theater kid. She's I don't know if been I agree with that. She's I mean, she already theater. had a strategy. Yeah. She's wear, taking her glasses off and being blind, so I don't think it's going to... Yeah, I she told us that. I she goes, I'm just going to take them off so I don't see anybody. I hmm. don't think that's going to affect her at all, the the live the live stage. And I don't think it's going to affect Harper at all either because he's, like, he he's his, got that... Uh, I, I think I think I think Chairman's that's, correct. I think it's gonna come thing, down though. to the buzzers. Good. It's literally this one literally might come down to reflexes because she answered those speed rounds like a mother. Yeah. Oh, she, Alice was like, oh, I didn't even finish my question. Okay, here we go. Well, and, and we, we we talked about it uh I think it was maybe even when we had Thomas on about his process of making sure he has the correct answer. Yeah. In the speed round, specifically in buzzers, and I know he's in the chat and he's probably like, what are you guys talking about? Um, <laughs> if if you think about that question for too long, we could see Nikki being like, she listens to the three words and she's got the answer. Like, it's This know? is definitely one of those matches, I feel like, where you they both might have to take that gamble. <laughs> I, I'm, I, know I, mean, right now. I mean, fair. I, but I think this is one of those matches where they're both so good that they're going to have to take that gamble and buzz in before the question's even finished. Yeah. You know, yeah. They're, they're, I think that I think that's going to come into play for this match a lot. Like doing that whole, I don't know if this is the question you're asking, but I'm going to gamble and take the risk on it just to make sure that you don't get it kind of thing. It's I think that's going to be pretty prominent in this match. I, but unless, but they're also, you know, crazy star wars people and they could just know these questions after three words in a sentence so what do i know <laughs> i couldn't do it there's no way nope nope no thank you are you making a prediction though i i i, I said i was gonna give the edge to nikki okay yeah okay i'm, I'm, I'm giving the edge sure. to nikki sure. uh real quick but i won't but i won't be sad if thomas defends I, I will say that i think thomas is a great champion as well ultimately but. whatever does happen i agree with you we come out with an incredible, an incredible champion between yeah. Thomas and Dimmy. Yeah, between I'm teams. not, I'm not upset with however it ends. I'll, I'll say that. Uh, Brian, hold on, real quick. Uh, what happened last time a suspect did their first buzz around, and last time a den member did their first? Oh, sh the shade. Good night, the everybody. Shade. Good night, everybody. <laughs> the Good shade. Lord, holy. 
God. Wow. Look. I'm not touching that with the 10 foot. Wow. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm, wow. I'm, just, I'm just here. I'm just, I'm just here. I'm just, I'm just here. Hi. Hello. Okay, Brian. Happy Sunday. <laughs> this is the only match that's like physically makes me like ill nervous. Really? I love them both. They're, they're both awesome. Like, I mean, I, it, it's hard. It's easy to root against someone like Mike. Like when you want someone else, it's easy to root against Mike. Yeah. It's easy to root against a hundred, someone like that. These I don't think people, anyone's rooting against anybody in this match. That's the thing. Yeah. It, it's so much harder because you like these people. Like yeah. they're both awesome. I, this is one where I'm just like, I have to, I'm going to go pace in the lobby. Cause like, I don't want to <laughs> like, I, you don't even want to watch it. I think I'm going to be stressing. <laughs> and I it think has I'm, zero I'm effect on my life. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> also, uh, I'm hoping we'll get some like lightsaber split in action, split in half and they can just share the belt. Uh, <laughs> That's Both take it home. Yes, partially. Um, but I think that would break Alex Damon in, in half, so we can't do that. Um, <laughs> he'll have like a conniption. If yeah, he'll need. feel it through the force. He'll feel it through the force. He'll be like, oh, I feel yeah. a disturbance. Like like thousands of crying voices. Just <laughs> like, oh no. <laughs> um, I literally... Oh, oh my God. It's true. It, he's like, he's like, he's like, the faction standings don't matter anymore. Listen, I have, I'm not kidding. I still have not made like a full decision, but if I'm going right now, I think I'm going to, oh, I think I'm going to go Thomas on this one. Oh, it's, it's valid. It's so hard it's, to it's, pick it's, on this one. Because like, 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 no one is rooting against anybody here. No. I think no matter what happens, no one's like heartbroken about it um honestly it, it's just the fact that like that bond of he likes y wings and that was like <laughs> he just uh, really likes y wings no like, one likes y wings justice for the no y wing Jake, I, you know you knew that you used to give me crap all the time <laughs> all the time and then all of a sudden Tom he's given y wing lovers a voice dang it yeah, exactly <laughs> So how do I pick against that? I, I do agree with Brandy that it is going to be the nicest match. It's going to be on par with like the Brendan Meyer Jacoby match minus Brandon Hannah, of course. Like, it, you know, that match was just like all about happy niceness. I think this is going to be very much the same way. Um, I'll hold you to that, Harper. Before yeah, before I make a prediction, that. I'll do a backflip if this goes sudden death. I I live for that pressure and those questions tilt in my favor. I will <laughs> throw up. I will literally throw up. <laughs> Um, so I have a little bit of a cop out because Nikki Dimelon has on my fantasy team. And oh my god! I'm, guess, okay. I'm, trying, I'm trying to get those over. points. I'm trying to get those points. I have three people you're, on like, my team. I don't think you're going anywhere higher than third place, so it doesn't. I'm matter. trying to get those points. Um, uh, no, but look, like in all in all honesty, uh, if fan if fantasy wasn't a factor, which in reality it probably isn't, um. <laughs> We stopped just, looking because Frank <laughs> like, hit a peak. <laughs> it's, um, it's bragging it is, this this has the potential to be like maybe the best overall. <laughs> I just saw his comment. Yeah. That's why I was like, <laughs> dead uh, to me. Dead. This, this has dead. the potential to be maybe the best overall Star Wars match. And when I say that. 5150 between Dimalanta and Damon was perfect in every possible way we could have it, right? It was it was Alex Damon and Andrew Dimalanta, a match that we've been waiting for in a very long time. But what that match didn't have, which is what a lot of the Star Wars matches have had and what almost the division was kind of built off of was that fun aspect of Star Wars trivia, right? Yeah. That we go to in bars or local breweries or whatever it may be and we play in as ourselves. Both Thomas, and even though Thomas is extremely intense at times because he has this, this major persona, right? And he's very into the moment, and that and it makes sense. Nikki brings this completely lighthearted, 
different side of it that we don't usually get to see inside the Star Wars division because it's such an intense league. Every match is so incredibly important, intense. The questions is so much focus, the depth of them. Yeah. Even though it is a big, big match. She's in the, like a breath of fresh air. Yeah, it's it's going to be different. One, because like we mentioned, there's no reason or no need for a faction race on this one, right? It's just like a regular season match. Mm -hmm. This doesn't impact anything that's happening in Spectacular. Now it's just Thomas and Nikki playing a Star Wars trivia match in front of a big crowd. But I think that this fun aspect of it is really going to bring a different ele element that we're not going to see in the other matches because the factions don't matter as much in this one. Nikki and Thomas are both completely different from any other players that we're really getting inside the other matches because everyone is so like tight, like Parker Kalinowski, Marisol yeah. Griffey Nooms, right? It's like these super tight matches, but you get to Thomas Harper and Nikki DeMonta. It's like, oh, there's actual sun. Like the sun can shine, you know? Oh, like, look, happy <laughs> day. <laughs> there's two, <signs>. yeah, <laughs> there's, there's two, two of them. There you go. Um, so I just, I think it's going to be a nice, but I, I just think it can be, it has the potential of being the best overall Star Wars match because it has a little bit of everything. It really does have a little bit of everything. Because I remember lead up to the Alex Damon Andrew Dillon Watson match, I was like sweating. Oh, uh, we like, all were. Like, just we like, we were all sweating. Like, I'm obviously going to be freaking out watching this, but I'm also going to be having an absolute blast because I know that Thomas and Nikki on stage playing, they're going to be having the time of their lives doing this. It's not going to be the most intense thing they've ever done in the world. They're just playing Star Wars trivia. That is it. So, yeah. Yeah, it's 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 definitely one to look forward to, obviously. And if it kicks off the event, like my goodness. No, they're playing on Best and that's why Roke is there. <laughs> <laughs> All I right. No Best well, existed. I wasn't uh, gonna find it. <laughs>